Kids Planner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a jump on a bike. There's two ramps I would suggest you start on. This one, where it's jump up and you land flat on the ground, or this one, where you take the ramp up and you land down on the landing. But when you're going over a jump, you need to have the correct bike position, or like I call it, the jump position. First, you want to have your pedals level like this, because if they're level, where it's like this, if they're like this, then when you go over that jump, this pedal is going to scrape that jump, and that's going to make you so you lose speed, and then you're going to fall. And you don't want to fall. So flat pedals like this, or level pedals, are good, because we want that. And then you want your knees to be bent. If they're straight up, when you hit the ground, you're gonna bounce with your bike. You don't want to. When you hit the ground and you get that impact, you wanna have your knees bent so your knees are like impact absorbers. Where when you hit the ground, you don't bounce. You just wanna hit the ground and roll off. And lastly, you wanna have your butt above the seat. Because if it's on the seat, you're gonna bounce, and you're gonna bounce like up like this. And you don't wanna bounce like that because you always wanna be in control of your bike. You wanna have level pedals, knees bent, and you want your butt to be above the seat like that. So I'm gonna demonstrate rolling back and forth to show you what it looks like. You want this. Remember, level pedals, like I am doing now. Knees bent, like that. And then you want butt above the seat. So you don't want like this or like this. You want it to have level. And you want your knees to be bent, not like this. And you want your butt to be above the seat, not like this. So, if you keep practicing that and you get that right, next you wanna move on to doing something with the jumps. You wanna try rolling over it so you get the feel for it. Because you don't wanna just go blind in and you just wanna, don't wanna just hit it without knowing how steep it is or, you know, like that. So, what you wanna do is you wanna roll over it. Watch me doing that. You want to be in jump position while doing that as well, like this. So you get used to it, so that you're ready when you actually do the real jump. So you want to keep doing that, like this. So, now you're prepared for the jump. Once you're done practicing that, you get to the fun part. It's doing the jump. So, so you get air on the jump. You want to go a little faster and then pull up on your handlebars a tiny bit so you get a little air. Watch me doing just that. Like this, remember? Jump position, pull up and go faster. Do you see how I got air? That's what happens when you do that. You want to get air. Remember to go faster, pull up, and be in jump position. Like that. And if you keep doing it, you get better and better at doing it. You're going to be going higher, faster, and you'll be getting better and better. You'll have your jump position will make it help a lot because look when i take the jump sitting down see what happens that's not good and same thing if my knees are straight watch what happens when my knees are straight it, you hit the ground and you bounce a little bit you don't want that and look what happens when you have your pedals like this i'm not going to do it like rolling fast because I'm gonna crash, but look. 
See how my pedals aren't level? It's hitting the jump when you do it. Look. Once you do that, you're gonna go like this and you're gonna fall. And no one wants to fall. So that's the correct jump position. And once you keep practicing that, you're gonna get better, better, and better. And once you learn, you now know how to take a jump on a bike. And you get to show all your friends what you can do. If you liked learning how to do a jump on a bike, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm the Kids Planner and I'll see you next time.